There are a few different ways to set a background in Easy Worship, and in this video I'll go through each one for you. To list them, they are setting the background permanently to a song in the database, setting a default song or scripture background or theme as it's called, setting a temporary background on a song or scripture in the schedule, and changing the theme on the fly. So first, I'll show you how to set a background permanently to a song in the database. In the Songs tab, right-click on the song you want, and select Edit Song. In the Song Editor, there are four different ways to set the background. First, you can click the Theme button on the toolbar, and hover over More Themes. Then select the theme you would like this song to use. Second. Click the Media button on the toolbar and drag and drop the video or image you want to use onto a slide on the left under the Words or Slides tab. If you want to use the same background for all slides in the song, this is not the best way to do that. You'll only want to use this method if you want a different background on each slide. The third way is to click the Masters tab then click the Media button on the toolbar and drag and drop the video or image you want to use onto the master slide on the left. The last way is to click the Inspector button in the top right corner on the toolbar and click Background. Under Fill Style, select what you want. Either Color Fill, Gradient Fill, or Media Fill. If you choose Color Fill, just select the color you want. If you choose Gradient Fill, select the gradient style, then the colors and the angle. If you choose Media Fill, select the video or image you want. Whether you choose color, gradient, or media, if you want your selection to be on all slides, click Apply to Theme at the bottom. If you're on the Masters tab, you won't need to click Apply to Theme. Close the inspector by clicking the small red X in the top right corner. Once you've finished selecting your background or theme by one of those four methods, Click OK to save the changes to that song in the database. Second, to set the default background or theme for your songs, click the Themes tab and make sure you have Song selected on the left. Right-click on the theme you want to use as default and select Set as Default Song Theme. If you don't have any themes or there's not one that you want to use, you can easily create song themes by right-clicking any video or image under the Media tab and selecting Copy to Theme, then Song Theme. You can do the same thing if you want to set a default scripture background or theme. Under the Themes tab, select Scripture on the left and right-click any scripture theme and then Set as Default Scripture Theme. Third, changing the background for a song or scripture in your schedule. When you change anything with a song or scripture in your schedule, it's just a temporary change, only for that schedule. When you have a song or scripture in your schedule and you want to change the background, click the Media tab and drag and drop any video image, or feed onto that song or scripture. If you want to change the theme for that item, click the Themes tab and drag and drop a song theme onto the song or a scripture theme onto the scripture. You can also expand the song or scripture in the schedule if it has multiple slides and drag and drop a background to a specific slide. Finally, 
If you want to change the theme quickly on the fly, single click the song you want to use, then click the themes tab. If you're in the preview and live or preview and live combined views, double click the theme you want to use to preview it. Then click go live. If you're in the live with resource preview view, single click the song you want to use, then click the themes tab and single click the theme to preview it. Then click go live or just double click the theme to go live. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing Easy Worship.